Well, hello, my friends. It's Kevin, the homemaker husband. Once again, I'm very glad you're choosing to spend a moment or two with me. Um, today's video, I guess, I'm going to cover a couple of little topics here. First off, I want to say the uh, hydroponic planter. The pump doesn't run all the time, but it is running right now. I can hear it, and I'm deaf. So if I can hear it, you may well be able to hear it as well. And the dishwasher is running. So, that being said, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I guess the first thing, while I'm right in this mode here, I'm going to talk to you about the new truck that I have at work. Uh, did a video a couple of back, a couple of videos back, where I showed the old truck and the new truck. Um, the old truck has a new job. It's a shunt. It's being used as a shunt truck down at the Sobeys Warehouse in Oromocto, and it will be a great truck for that, and it will last a long time, I suspect, down there, you know, because it'll get minimal miles. They won't even license it for the road. It'll just be in the yard. So that's cool. The new truck. As you may remember, they brought it the last day I worked before I went on my week's vacation. And I, or I, it had 260 kilometers on it, right? So, with my company, when they get a new truck, they run them all the time, 24-7. I shouldn't say 24-7. I drive it during the day, and there's a driver that comes in and he takes it in overnight. And then on the weekend, because it's a new truck, all the spare guys come in and they wanna run the new truck. So, I'm not sure if it's running this weekend or not. It is another long weekend here in this part of the world in New Brunswick. They give us a day off for what we call Remembrance Day, Memorial Day in the States. I'm not sure what it's called in other countries, but here it's Remembrance Day, November the 11th, right? So, anyway, it may or may not be working. That's neither here nor there, I guess. So, when I came back from my week off, the truck had 5,031 kilometers on it from 260. So the guy that runs it, and they said it was just him, he must have had some long nights. That's cool. So anyway, I come back to work on Monday. I ran it Monday, I ran it Tuesday. And Tuesday, I had a really long run, and I came back late in the evening. Late enough to where when this guy went to work, he had to take a different truck. So Michelle is going to post a couple of pictures right now to show you what happened to this fella on Tuesday morning. So this guy, what happened was, reportedly, he fell asleep. Now listen, I drove for a lot of years now, and I have to admit that I have actually fallen asleep twice. And fortunately, it was really quick, and I came to before there was anything happened, and it's scary. This fella, when he came to, it was too late. I'm happy to report he wasn't hurt, but as you can see by those pictures, that truck is a complete and total write-off, not to mention, diesel fuel spill, yada, yada, yada. So you probably know where that all goes. But anyway, my only point is to say, or is to question, if I hadn't have got in late as I did, he would have had the new truck. And the only thing I can say, probably without just guessing, is he would have been just as tired when he set his backside in that truck as he was in the one you see in the pictures. So, would that have happened? Only God knows, right? But my point is kind of, sometimes truck can be, can be scary. So anyway, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Second thing, I'm gonna take you in the pantry and just show you one little area. The reason I have my hoodie on, I am about to, I gotta run over to Walmart and I'm gonna try to pick up some canned meats. We have a little bit of money set aside in the budget. The canned meats are so expensive that I could spend all of this money and not put a dent in there. 
but I'm going to go see what I can do at any rate, and I will show you. Uh, I've told you different times we have depleted our pantry quite badly. The, the, the canned meats, obviously, more than anything, but we're trying to set a little aside out of the grocery budget to build that back up to a certain extent. And we'll talk more about that in ongoing videos. So stay tuned. I'll show you that. Then I'll go do it, show you what I got, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, this area right here is where the canned meats go. Four cans of the Kirkland chicken. That's good stuff, but I'm going to have to pick up another one or two. Or another, it comes in a six pack. I'm going to have to pick up another one. That won't be today. And then there's these luncheon meats. Uh, obviously, we've hit them hard. We have none of the canned ham and one can of the flakes of chicken. And as you can even see, our tuna has been very hard hit. So the next few weeks, Michelle will be doing her usual excellent job watching the flyers. And if anything comes on sale, we shall grab it. We even only have three cans of corned beef back in there. That stuff is so hugely expensive. Like that's six or seven dollars a can, that Hereford stuff, if I remember correctly. And uh, we won't be replacing that. I'll replace it with some of these cheaper things when the canned ham and the flakes of chicken go on special I'll be grabbing them I'm gonna just try to get a few today just a few of something to build this back up I'll uh, show you let you know what we can get stay tuned I ran out I actually went to a couple of stores I shot into the Dollarama and very busy today very busy and I went into Walmart. I'm going to show you in a moment what $43.36 looks like. So, Michelle was saying that we have lots of people from the US that comment about, you know, different things that we should buy. And they're great suggestions, except here in this part of the world, we can't get 10 pound tubes of ground beef at Costco. I have never seen it in the 12 or 13 years this Costco has been here and we've been members. I've never seen that. We can't buy like sausage in tubes like we do bologna. You know, we see like Jimmy Dean advertised on television, tubes of sausage about that big around, about that long. We cannot get that. Um, we can't get canned beef at all, except for corned beef. That's the, that's the only thing that I've seen here. We can get those large cans of chicken at Costco and we do buy them. But there's just so many examples of things that we cannot get here in Canada. So if you don't see us getting it from Costco or, and Costco, we don't have Sam's Club and we don't have uh, what's the other big one? There's another big one in uh, the U.S. that we know you guys are privileged to have that we don't have. We have Costco, and Costco is great, but that's all we have. So anyway, if you ever wonder why you don't see us with some of those big, volume, high volume products, that's why we're we are unable to get them here. And the simple reason is population, right? The United States of America literally has 10 times as many people than Canada does. So anyway, that being said, I'm going to show you what that $43.36 looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, I got one of our old favorite standbys here. This great value luncheon meat. This is $1.97 a can. I got five of them. There was only seven total left, and I didn't I didn't want to screw up my math. That's the long and the short of it. Would I have bought the last two? 
yeah, probably. But I just didn't want to screw up my math, right? I had a, a budget to meet. And I went over it by $3.36, but that's it. That's life, I guess. Uh, this flaked light tuna, the great value stuff, 97 cents a can. And we do go through a fair amount of tuna. We like this stuff. So price is right, right? You know, ordinarily they have two shelves about four feet long. I think the shelf would be, maybe they're three foot shelves, but two of them. Clear full. And there was less than, less than a case. So less than 24 cans after I got my 10 here. These, we don't use as much of these, truthfully, but we keep a few cans on hand. They were regular price, $3.27 a piece, so I got three of them, flakes of chicken. There for our French friends. There it is in French. I'm not even gonna disrespect you by mispronouncing it, so. And these, eight cans of ham, these were $1.75 a piece at Dollarama. They, they didn't even have the maple leaf flakes of ham at all at Walmart anyway, but these are cheaper. The flakes of ham at Walmart are $3.27 as well. These ones here were $1.75, so I got eight of them. So I'm gonna put them on the shelf just so you get a, a little idea of how much it takes to fill that part of our shelf. So stay tuned and I'll show you that. Well, okay, my friends, there you can see this little corner of the shelf is looking a bit better, right? There's the ham there. I put the new tuna in the back, moved the old stuff, obviously, the stuff that expires first. I mean, that's a long life anyway, but uh, the stuff that is the oldest is in the front. Same with the canned ham. As I told you, probably the corned beef, we will not be replenishing. Is that the right word? Probably the corned beef there, we will not replace. Uh, flakes of chicken, as I said, if we find that sale that we do often on Lawton's, and you know, where you can get four or eight or whatever for whatever price, I might buy another can or two of that, but I will be focusing on the ham. And the Kirkland chicken back there, there, I guess. Um, yes, I will probably get another package of that at some point. But as I said, $43.36 changed it from what you saw previously to this. So what would it cost to fill just that extra section of shelf right there? I am guessing upwards of $200 very easily. So if you guys are encountering the same thing, I feel your pain. Food is incredibly expensive, getting more so, and our politicians just keep denying and denying and denying that that is the case. But you and I know that it is. it is. It's just, it's terrible, right? So anyway, do what you can, buy what you like, don't buy what you won't eat, like that corned beef, really. There are, are a couple of things that we can use it for, but do we need 15 gans? I don't think so. So anyway, that's that part of the video for now. So stay tuned. We'll close her up. Okay, my friends, uh, I guess that's going to be a wrap on this video. I've got some chicken in the oven right now. We're making supper, so... I guess I'm just gonna concentrate on that, get my kitchen cleaned up, finish some chores here if I can. I'm looking forward to having a day off tomorrow. I got a couple of ugly things to do tomorrow, but other than that, you know, just the usual stuff. If you've watched this far, know that I appreciate each and every one of you. I pray for you. Those of you that have reached out with specific prayer requests, I want you to know you are not forgotten. I do have you covered and I appreciate those of you that say you pray for Michelle and I and do indeed hope that you will continue to do that because certainly, certainly we could use prayer. Who couldn't in this day and age? So once again, thank you very much. It's Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying God bless and bye for now.